Let's put it down. <sighs> you two are very strong, but not quite strong enough just yet. It looks like we'll have to use another method. Heidi, could you go and fetch me a pulley from my workshop, please? There's one hanging up by the workbench. Of course, Grandfather. <laughs> oh! Huh? Buongiorno! Hello! Does this chalet belong to the Alps, Uncle? You... are you Italian? Si. Are you Rico's father? Si. Oh! <gasps> Rico! Come quick! Quick! What's going on now? <laughs> oh, oh, Papa. Caro mio, I've missed you so much, so much. <sighs> son of Felice. Me too. I'm so happy to see you again, my son. I'm happy that you made it. Rico was getting impatient. Are you the Alps' uncle? Some people do call me that, yes, but you can call me Ernst. Ernst. Well, my name is Francesco. Thank you for looking after my little boy. Oh, I couldn't have done it alone. I had help from Heidi, my granddaughter. E como mia sorella maggiore. Like a big sister. Uh -huh. You're lucky. That's something I know you've always wanted. <laughs> this is a remarkable piece of work. Your little Rico has a future as a carpenter. And here's the chalet. Wow. I haven't gotten Grandfather's workshop started or the fireplace. And, well, I'd like to finish it and make one for Chippy, too, once Chippy comes back home. Chippy? Ma, who's this a Chippy? Chippy's my bird. He's a goldfinch. He spends the winter in a warm country. Chippy will come back home in spring. And you did this all on your own? Uh-huh. It's quite incredible. You paid attention to every detail of the chalet. Mm -hmm. So, what's with that little star there on the roof? What's that? It's Stella. Hmm? That is his mother. She died when Rico was five years old. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really happy here in the chalet with you all, like when my mom was around. Cara mio. We can stay right here in the mountains. We will be happy here. Oh, grazie, papa. Prego. Why don't we play some musica to thank our hosts? See, si, and I'll go fetch the instruments. Are you absolutely sure that you don't mind us staying a while in the manor for the winter? It was made just for that. This is a big house. Here, Papa. King Bahadur Singh. Well done. In finding the sword, you have all brought such great honor to Jalbin. Sure are a lot of people here. They look nice, just like you guys. Vitru, we've always got each other's backs. Speaking of backs, <laughs> I have an itch. Can you help me, buddy? Sure thing, buddy. Everyone, please enjoy the celebration in honor of our heroes. Definitely written another chapter in the legend. How about that, Vidru? We're legendary. And now I shall have the royal artist add your deeds to the Book of Swords. So I want to hear all the details of your adventure. Mira, you start. Well, we began our search behind a roaring waterfall. Where I bravely retrieved the first jade egg. At that me! Can we skip to the part where we bravely fell into a delicious raspberry bush? My invention helped us out of a tight spot. And after playing some games with some really friendly monkeys... We finally returned home with the eagle sword. The end! Wow, what a story! I want to hear it again! And again, and again, and again! Okay, I have to tell you a story. So last summer at science camp... <laughs> Of course it worked! 
You're a genius! <laughs> I'm <in> science! <laughs> okay, now what? Now, we make the new lens. Ochoa was right. Look at that sky. Perfect comet viewing conditions. Mijitas, all the lighting. Is everything okay? Yeah, we're fine. Well, I mean, with the telescope. Oh, well, there were a few hiccups. But nothing a few scientists couldn't handle. <laughs> Everything's ready inside. Come on, Abuelo. Well, Abuelo, do you see it? Madre mía. I'll take that as a yes. Que maravilloso. Ay, gracias, mis nietecitas. This is the best day of my life. <clears throat> the, the, other than the day I married your abuela, of course. Better. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen so many stars. Me? Neither. Total royal overload. <laughs> Maybe he'll want to talk about it later. Why don't we just give him some time alone? Nancy, you didn't tell. Why no? Of course I didn't tell. And I'm truly, deeply, terribly sorry that I told before. It's okay. I forgive you. Oh, Lionel. Aww. Okay, all right. Enough mushy stuff. It's nice you guys want to help me. So, um, want to hear the story of the chicken incident? Yes. Do we? You kidding? We've been waiting. <sighs> okay, it was a big day at my grandpa's farm. I was going to feed the chickens by myself for the first time. And then I opened the coop door. Time to hit the path, buttercups. Wait for me. Nice outfit, Amber. <sighs> well, I figured since I'm a buttercup now, I might as well dress like one. I'm glad you're in the troop. Oh, thank you for all your gifts and fashion advice. Mosey will miss you terribly. Oh, Amber will miss you too. All right, Buttercups, let's move out. Bye, Mosey. See you later. Thanks for everything. Mosey bids you farewell, Buttercups. I guess you were right, Sophia. I'm an outdoor princess after all. Buttercups, Buttercups.